Hey guys doing, welcome back to another video. Let me teach you guys how to make caves and tunnels in Unreal Editor. I spent around two hours trying to figure this out. I really overcomplicated everything when it was, in reality it was just two button clicks. So how to start is that you create your landscape as usual. And then once you build your landscape and build yourself a mountain, you go to sculpt, visibility, and then all you do is just draw. And that's it, that's your cave, you're done. Okay, of course that's not your cave. But an example right here, if I select all of this, all of these assets that I recently used and I hide them, it's the same exact thing. So if I just copy and paste this, how I did that was I hold alt and dragged and just place it to where you don't see any of the edges. It's another cave and boom, you're done. Now, one important thing is something new that actually I, I, I never really knew about it. If you click on this cube up here, volumes for underground volume. What this volume does is whenever you're inside of it, your character just looks normal and continues as how they are. Because if you're under a mesh, this is just prone to problems, lagging, uh, weird animation glitches. Like you just don't belong here because just look at it. What this volume does is if you're inside of it, you're fine. That's the most simple way I can explain it to you guys. I'm sure I can go into great detail and depth of how this actually works. But in the Unreal uh, sample map that we were given, every cave had this. So it's just one really important thing to remember to always place on all your caves and tunnels. So once you create your four underground volume, just scale it up to the size of the cave. Just scale it up to the size of the cave and then just drag it over and then that's it you're done with the cave okay so for a tunnel a tunnel is basically just two caves connected ignore my really amazing tunnel building skills right here but so all it is is once again you just paint it on the mesh you put a little assets on the outside to make it look a lot prettier and do the same thing on the other side once again all it is just paint out the mesh assets and you just build stuff in between to connect it, make it look like a actual tunnel. And then for the final part, make sure to add the volume, the four underground volume. Once again, this will make you move properly, function properly under a mesh. So that's it. All you're doing is painting and then making it look pretty. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I saw a lot of comments in the last video about this topic. so. I wanted to make this as fast as possible. I actually have not seen any videos on YouTube about this in particular. So if I'm the first, that's pretty cool, even though it's literally three clicks. But now we all know how to do it and we learned something new and that's all that matters. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.